Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about Buttercup's wrap. It's been about five months since I had her wrap, so I thought I would do a review of how the wrap is held up with everyday use and off-roading use, so stay tuned. Buckle up, Buttercup! So let's start this video out. What kind of wrap do I have? I have a 3M matte military green wrap on Miss Buttercup. I chose 3M because back in the day, I actually used to own a screen printing and vinyl business and 3M was just leading in the industry. They've always had quality stuff. And I'm like, you know, I recognize that name. I've worked with it before. That's what I want on the Bronco. And the next step was, okay, well, who am I gonna choose to put this on? Because that's actually almost as important as the wrap that you choose. And I did some research and one day there was a business that was not really advertising, but they posted a post in a local Facebook group, a Bronco group, and I reached out to them. And it was Tint House Customs. They have done some amazing things. Things. They've worked with other wrap companies and their Broncos actually been featured um, for their wrap and they also have some really amazing Mustangs. So I'll post some pictures of some work that they've done. So I highly recommend them. If you guys are near the Davie, Florida area or even within five to six hours, it is worth the drive. I drove all the way from Tampa to Davie, Florida because of the quality of work that I've seen through their pictures and just talking to them. They were very knowledgeable with wraps and they wrapped their own Broncos. So they had experience with wrapping a Bronco. And um, I thought that was actually really important. With them being Bronco owners, I'm like, okay, I have to support them. They own a Bronco. You guys know me, if you have a Bronco or if you are a Florida company or even a company made in the USA, I am supporting you. I am so pro helping others out that are a part of my community. So that is uh, the main reason why I went with Tint House Customs because I saw their quality work and they own a Bronco. And I wanna add, they are super cool people. We have become friends since then and we do a lot of off-roading events and you know their wrap has held up great. My wrap has held up great. So let's get talking about the wrap itself. As far as day-to-day -day use, it's great. I have not seen any peeling. I have not seen any cracking. I have not seen any discoloration at all. Now, if you're new to the channel, if you don't know this, I live in Florida, the sunshine state. And granted, yes, my Bronco is garaged most of the time, but I do live in an area where it is sunny all the time. I live in an area that has lakes and salt water and sand and just all kinds of things. So my wrap has really been exposed to all the elements except snow. Um, and we'll probably keep it that way. I don't know. Maybe I'll venture north sometime this winter just to change it up. But it has held up great. And I was a little nervous about the peeling. I've had people reach out to me saying they've had a wrap done and around the handles and stuff that it was peeling off around their mirrors. And thankfully, I have not had any of those issues. The wrap itself is wonderful quality. And if I would choose another wrap again, I would definitely go the 3M route just because I'm really satisfied um, with the quality of it. Now to add to that, my Bronco just doesn't sit in the driveway. It just doesn't sit at the mall. You know, although it does do those things, she's off road all the time, very often. And I'm not just talking about a little gravel road. Like I've been through the sand pits, I like sand dunes. I do crazy obstacles and I go through ginormous mud holes, water puddles. I'm going down trails that are so thin where I could get pinstriping. So the first time I took her out, it was not long after I got the wrap and actually Tin House Customs came along with me and they're like, oh my work, it's just gonna get ruined with all this mud, it's gonna get so dirty. Uh, it didn't get ruined, but yes, it did get very, very dirty. And I am gonna talk about that at the end of the video on how I care for the wrap. Um, but back to off-roading. I put my Bronco through everything and I was a little nervous going through lots of mud and sand and just all that mixture together along with branches hitting it. I don't like pinstriping and I was a little nervous with it being a matte color because matte colors usually show uh, more of scratches or just more blemishes. It's just something that's known. So I knew that going in and I still wanted a matte color, but thankfully, even though I've gone through these tight trails, you know, with um, branches and trees and stuff, I have no pinstriping. So it's really awesome that the wrap has held up against pinstriping and everything, but more importantly, if I decide to take this wrap off because I, you know, I'm gonna sell it or I wanna just go back to cactus gray, I've protected the paint because I had this wrap on there. And if you're not familiar with um, wraps or PPFs, 
If you want to keep the color of your Bronco, they have PPF's paint protection film that you can apply over the Bronco and you can keep the same body color. They even have really awesome PPF's called Stealth PPF. So it's gonna give you that matte look, but the same color. And I almost went that route because I really love the cactus gray and I saw a Stealth PPF over a cactus gray at SEMA of last year and it looked amazing, like absolutely amazing. But the whole reason I went with the matte military green was because I wanted to be a little different. I wanted to stick out. You know, I wanted people to see my buckle up buttercup on this side of the Bronco, you know, advertising the channel and everything. But, you know, I also thought about doing something flashy. I don't know if you guys remember, I had a live stream where we just dedicated the entire time about picking a color. And that was the hardest decision because this is an off-road vehicle. So I felt like it, it couldn't be pink or purple or anything like that. I felt like it needed to be a earth tone color, a sandy color, brown, green, something like that. So in the end, I went with the matte military green and I'm very happy with my decision. I don't know if I would ever wrap it a different color. Right now, I'm really happy with it. Now down the road and I get my Badlands, who knows what I'll do with that. But right now, I am very happy with the matte military green. Another question I get asked about all the time is, how in the world do you care for that wrap? especially when you're taking it through butts hole. If you don't follow the channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say butts hole, no, I'm not talking about literally somebody's butt hole. It's called butts hole. And it is this huge mud puddle and it looks like, you know what? And it smells like, you know what? And my Bronco has been through that multiple times and man, it sticks and it cakes on and it's thick and it is a pain in the butts hole to get off. I was a little hesitant to go through that mud puddle after getting the wrap because I just knew how difficult it was to get that mud off just normal paint. But you know, I'm the Bronco babe. I feel like I've got to do stuff even if I am not totally confident with the results. Thankfully, I got her cleaned. It took me four or five washes actually. Who am I kidding? There's still mud everywhere. But I have taken a power washer to the wrap now, obviously, if you have a wrap or a PPF, you gotta be careful with a power washer. You don't wanna get so close to like a seam where you know the wrap could easily get pushed up with the water from the power of the power washer. But I will say, use a power washer at your own risk. Start further away. You can always inch your way closer. But to me, that was the easiest way to get the mud off and the quickest way. So I just did that multiple times. And then I do actually use normal cleaning products. I can use the foam cannon. I can just, you know, use a, a regular sponge or any of those gloves and wipe it down. Now, the only issue I would say I had is being in Florida, sometimes I have to do it in the sunshine. So you need to be careful with water spots, especially being a matte color. It does stick out a little bit more, but that is easily prevented just by going in sections with the Bronco, you know, soaping it down, rinsing it off, and you can kind of pat it down a little bit. And then I'm also very cautious when I spray tire cleaner or anything that adds a shine just because I don't want that overspray on the wrap. I don't know if it would actually hurt the wrap, but I'm not willing to try it to see if that's the case. I also have a couple new products I'm going to try out. It's kind of like a ceramic coating, not an actual ceramic coating, but like a ceramic spray where it helps keep water spots and things like that off just after rain and just helps keep the dust and stuff off of it. So I'm going to try that product on a little piece of the wrap uh, and kind of have it outside and stuff for a week or so and see if there's any discoloration, you know, before I go ahead and, you know, spray this stuff over the entire Bronco. So I'll definitely keep you posted with that. But overall, am I happy with wrapping my Bronco? Yes, 100%. So I would definitely recommend the 3M wraps, at least the one that I have, the matte military green has held up great. I've had no cracking from heat, no discoloration, nothing like that. And I definitely recommend Tin House Customs if you guys are anywhere near the area or you wanna take a trip to Florida, why not take a trip to Florida and then drop off your Bronco and have them wrap it and you can go home with a new wrapped Bronco. And they have extended a promo code. If you guys missed that video, I'll go ahead and link that up above. But if you use code buttercup, they will give you a discount for PPF or wrap and maybe even tinted windows. I'm not sure on that one, you'll have to ask them. But um, hopefully that gives you some insight about a wrap, especially going off road and just the care of it. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. 
Be sure to like and subscribe. Share the video if you guys want to support us financially so we're able to continue making content. You can make a donation on our website. Or we also have a Patreon account that you can become a member of. And then be sure to follow us on all the social medias. I'm posting reels, information, meetups, everything, you name it. And here pretty soon, I will be planning more about the collab in Moab in October so you can meet us and a bunch of viewers out in October and go wheeling and maybe doing some rock crawling with our Broncos, which will be super fun. But until next time, buckle up, buttercup.